Hello, welcome to Alan Water Homes. This is the Nevis house type, a three bedroom detached family home. Come inside and have a look around. I'll start by saying that we've only just finished building this house, so it's still in a bit of a raw state, but it does give you a general idea of the dimensions of the house and what to expect. Have a look in the sitting room. The sitting room is virtually square, it's 4 metres by 4 metres, which in old money is 18 feet by 18 feet. Um, have a look in this cupboard, this is where the boiler is and some of the switch gear. Have a look inside. Even though it has those components, there's still room for things like, well, the Christmas tree. Another feature I want to bring to your attention is, behind you Mr Cameraman, in this room, not only do you get the double socket, but there are also two USB ports. And this is a feature throughout the house which we'll see as we're going round. There's the same facility in the kitchen and in the main bedroom. Talking about the kitchen, come through the archway to the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner measures five metres long by just about three metres wide. There's plenty of space here for a table and chairs. You can three, see through the double doors out into the garden. If we turn our attention to the kitchen itself, it has a Moore's kitchen, worktops, drawers, cupboards, all Moore's design. It has a Zanussi hood, hob and oven. So they're all good quality features. And again, as mentioned before, if I can find them, the two USB ports on the switches. We'll go back out into the, the hall. And in the hall, there is the small downstairs cloakroom. It has wash and basin and WC, and there's the air extractor fan on the wall. Let's go upstairs. The house measures just under 900 square feet in total. Upstairs we have three bedrooms and small and a family bathroom. Would you like to have a look inside the family bathroom? And round to the main bedroom. The ensuite is a shower room with shower, wash hand basin, and WC. And then to the right of that, we have double wardrobes with sliding doors. As we leave this room, I'll just point out two other things. There's thermostatic control for the heating system on this level, but within this room, and next to that, regulatory requirements, a carbon dioxide tester. As we go out, if you cast your eyes across the ceiling, there is access into the loft, there is loft storage space um, up there, and it's, it runs the length of the house. Again, going through the hallway, I'll point out this cupboard. Modern house is woefully short of cupboard space, but in this one, you do have some cupboard space downstairs, and again in here. Next to that is the second bedroom, virtually square, three metres by three metres, and again, double wardrobes here, plenty of storage space, clothes space. And leaving here, going into the last bedroom, this is a slightly quirky shape because it has an alcove area over here. Good for, say, a kid's bookcase or toy storage, and then space for the beds, and a nice view outside to the rest of the development. We're filming this house on a day when the outside temperature is about zero degrees, and we've come in and switched on the heating system, and in the short time that it has taken to film this video, the house is toasty warm, which is a tribute to the amount of insulation which is in it. I should also say that in terms of renewable energy, the house benefits from solar panels, and um, that will be a huge contribution to reducing some of these electricity bills. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, the best way to see any Allen Water House is to go on site and have a look at the houses, the show house, talk to the people who are on site. That's the best way to find out all about Allen Water Homes. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.